Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Cancer, I wanna wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours. I wish you guys the very best for this year to come. Let's get into your reading. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can now go to our online store and purchase them on there. The link is in the end of each video, so you'll be able to find the link there or on the description below. Let's get into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified of the new videos coming out. We just dropped the tarot series um, that officially starts on Sunday, so uh, you guys definitely stay tuned for that as well. All right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love and romance? Show me the card that represents the person of interest, their actions, and the clarification of their actions towards Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys definitely stay tuned for the January uh, recap of 2022. Uh, that is a video that we show at the end of every year uh, to see the predictions that are going to be unfolding for each of the signs. All right. So we have the first card that popped out, and this is the devil card. The devil card could represent dealing with a Capricorn or dealing with Satur uh, Saturnian energy. Could be an Aquarius as well. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with a situation that could be potentially extremely toxic. Now, the bottom card is the Eight of Cups here. So the Eight of Cups is the energy that is currently influencing the person or partner. Eight of Cups does speak to me about walking away from a situation that was toxic. For some of you guys, there could be some distancing. For others, there could have been a separation uh, or a temporary separation um, that recently could have occurred. Or you may be dealing with that situation right now. Um, a feeling of a lot of inconsistency, a lot of toxic type of energy here. The devil card is also speaking to me about dealing with the situation or a partner that could be like overly protective. And this could be protective towards you, extremely jealous. Um, but I feel that for the majority, very protective of their personal life. So what I mean by that, this is a person that is extremely secretive. They're not very transparent. Um, with what's going on in their life for some of you guys It could have been a situation where they've tried to keep you Hidden from their personal life hidden from their family their friends uh, A situation of kind of like a hush type of situation. So I'm not sure what you're dealing with here cancer, but um, I feel that the connection itself with the devil card and the eight of cups It's almost like trying to keep you binded or trying to keep you um, satisfied in a, in a situation of being hidden um, or keeping things in the hidden. Um, oftentimes, this could represent the person that is living a double life. So keep that in mind and be cautious about that, okay? Now, the next card that we have here is the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, there's definitely a separation. Um, I feel like you're currently going through a situation where you feel very unsupported. You feel like um, you've been left out in the cold or you've been ignored. Um, this is a type of energy of, you know, I, I, and this is something that I'm hearing very strongly. I feel like the person that you've been dealing with could potentially be living a double life. If you feel like, you know, they have issues with like keeping their phone around you or they, they always have it in silent or, you know, they, they're only accessible to you at certain hours of the day or night. This is something that you need to be watchful about, Cancer, because I feel like either you're aware of it or you're not. Um, but I feel like they're trying to condition you to feel like it's okay having their love conditional. Like there has to be certain type of conditions in order to deal with them. And the Five of Pentacles is a person that has absolutely no problem walking away from this connection. That's if it hasn't happened already. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going through a situation where um, there is lack of consistency here. And with the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, they are either walking away or this is you realizing you don't want to deal with this type of energy and it's you the one that's going to be walking away. That's if it hasn't happened already. 
Now, to clarify, their actions is the Ace of Wands. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation that is purely based on the physical aspect because the devil is present. So um, what this is indicating to me is a connection that perhaps started sexual, like extremely sexual, or a situation that is based purely on the physical, physical satisfaction nothing else there so my advice to you is if this person that you've been dealing with has been leading you to believe that this is something that is going to become something more than what it has especially if you've been dealing with them for longer than three months know your worthiness answer don't settle especially if you're dealing with someone that is married or that, like I said, is not that available to you, chances are they are married and they're wanting to condition you to be okay with dealing with this situation or this type of environment. So don't don't settle, don't settle for that shit. Don't settle for anything half-ass cancer. You deserve something more than that. Now let's see what the energy is with uh, the partner here. We have, we are not right for each other. So again, I feel very strongly like, I feel like you need to walk away from this situation, Cancer, because it's not going to lead you to anything, especially if you've been dealing with them for longer than a year and they keep promising you, yeah, I'm going to, you know, end the relationship or the commitment that I'm in. Um, because we are not physical anymore. We're not dealing with each other anymore. They're being dishonest. They're not being honest with you. Um, and again, if, if you feel like this has been going on for a little bit longer than you would like, things are not going to change. So you're the one that needs to make the decision to either walk away from the situation or to accept the situation as is and to settle with what they're giving you. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance, Cancer. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.